Hello everyone, this is Gamer1745 here, and I could really use your help, and I'll get into how and what in just a moment. This is a little different than normal episodes. But first, I want to tell you why um, I want your help, and why it might be worth your time in helping me. Right. The reason I started modding originally with Hearts of Iron, and the reason I to sort of I started the YouTube channel is just to sort of um, hype my mod, if you will, but it's taken off and doing reasonably well. And I'm very, very proud of it and very grateful for people's attention here. But the reason I've made the channel, you know, it comes off of, um, you know, and really sort of continue building and doing it, is to present historical lessons, lessons from history uh, in a fun and hopefully entertaining way in that we're playing games. We're pl games that I hope you play, some of them at least, and um, chatting about the history around it and not making it some heavy lesson or some detailed dense, um, you know, documentary or something with lots of facts and figures, but just talking about history, the importance of events. Not, sometimes these are, um, you know, historical lessons in that this is what happened on a particular day in history or something, but more, but really what I want to do is more why things in history have happened and their effects of things happening and that, you know, lessons from history, as opposed to history lessons. And a lot of that can be seen around and dealing with World War II and the leading up of a world war. And, you know, sort of jokingly, we can look at you know, Starship Troopers, we've been playing the game some recently. Are you doing your part? I'm doing mine. Well, I'm trying to educate people. Um, and I do definitely feel like often I'm shouting out into the wilderness with no one listening to me. Oh, I know there's a few people here. But, you know, talking with one of my friends in, in Ukraine who lives there, I'm not want to give any more information but really that you know and his nation has been invaded and um we're seeing well we're seeing a rumor of arrest of xi jinping today but i truly totally believe that well if xi jinping stays in power that there are plans to invade taiwan as soon as two conditions are met one they think they militarily can do it. They don't want to destroy Taiwan. They want to conquer it. So it's not like, well, they can nuke it tomorrow. So that's not the point. It's not, not that Taiwan is a threat to China. It's um, just a Chinese possession they want back. And not that it's, you know, some damage will happen, but they don't want to destroy it. They could destroy it if they wanted to already. But they, you know, be able to conquer it. And two, think the world won't over, you know, react because of the invasion. Now, we are seeing massive reaction to the invasion of um, Ukraine. And that may be telling China, oh shit, even though we are heavily interconnected with the world and the world depends upon us for a lot of things, maybe the world will lose their shit and stop dealing with us if we invade Taiwan. So, you know, it may be helpful for the overall world situation. Tragic for um, Ukraine, but helpful to stabilize um, the world in a way um, that Russia did do what it did. And nations, including Western nations, are learning that major kinetic war in the perceived civilized world, not like you know some third world country in Africa, but in the civilized world can still very much happen and you need to be prepared nations need to be prepared for it which i think they were well i know they were thinking that that was no longer a not 
saying it's impossible, but no longer a likely scenario. Well, it's more than likely it's happened. Um, so, you know, I'm trying my best because I've been watching the world for a long time now, trying my best to inform people of what is going on, what what could happen, and a lot of these things. And that is the importance of my channel. And yeah, I do have political um, viewpoints that you may or may not disagree but I th with, but it's the historical, the lessons that I'm really, I've, you know, these causes and effects um, of history that I feel are important to get out there. And there are already many good academic, many good sort of news sources out there. This was just a different way of doing this thing, of informing people about history and lessons from history and, and trying to do it in a different way to, you know, maybe be more effective. I don't know if it's more effective or just do it, do it a bit different. So to me, this is something of a mission. And I could use your help with that, with this. I could really use your help when you see a video of mine come on, especially when you first see the thumbnail, um, that you click on it and that you like the video. Um, now, I can understand, you know, not everyone can do that um, all the time. And not even, you know, if you really don't, you know, if it's a game you're not terribly interested in, fine, I, I understand that. But can you just hit, you know, click on it, hit play, make sure it's playing. You can turn the sound off and minimize that screen if your system can handle it. And then go about watching, you know, whatever other videos you want to watch or playing whatever other games just to give me a view. I know this is pleading for views, pleading for likes, but also, even if you're not going to watch much of the video, just on, you know, it's not just this video, I mean, it'd be lovely if you do it, like and comment on this video, but just say hi, gamer, or, or hi, or whatever on, on all of the videos because engagement really helps. If I can sort of if we can work the algorithm as it were to get get this going a bit bigger um, get it out of its sort of stalled um, status um, I would really appreciate it for this this mission that I feel is important and so it's not just helping me out um, it's I want to help the world quite honestly and this is the best way that I know how to do it now, like I'm streaming live here on YouTube when I'm making this video, on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, thanks to Arno, and I also all my videos go up also onto Rumble, so I support other platforms than YouTube, and so if you happen to be watching this on one of them, great, please follow, like, share, subscribe, whatever, on the various platforms that I really think that this is an important educational tool out there and any of your support and mentioning that uh, and I'm not asking for for this but I do want to thank Tim Strongarm Niagara Timothy and Sir Toyjet for support over on Patreon and that money is helpful but it's really helpful really so much more helpful quite honestly if you help spread the word about this channel about these videos so um the more you watch the more you can like and comment i really really do appreciate that so if you can help me in my mission to better educate and inform the world i would really appreciate it so thank you everyone um see you next time for more actual um, wargaming and talking about the history of the world. Thanks.